This is VHS TV. Last Thursday, some French and German students attended the Royal Language Quiz Bowl at West Lafayette High School. They participated in three rounds of competition, vocabulary, grammar, and culture. Additionally, several German students participated in an Act for the Talent show, taking home third place. Adam Seiferman, Ryan Everton, Kyle Black, Jared Wellerman, Andrea Wesson, and Jacqueline Flandermeyer sang and danced to the German song Moscow. We were very entertained and proud of their performance. International Club will be hosting an interfaith event on April 30th in the Senior Academy LGI room from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. The event will consist of speakers from several different religions, keynote speakers, a Q&A session. The International Club would like to give students and community members a chance to learn about different faiths and cultures and anyone is welcome. The FCA Club will have a change of location this week. They will meet in room D101 this Friday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. They hope to see you there. Are you interested in discussing and debating aspects of police intervention in society today? Do you have an opinion about the government's war on drugs? Come to the Politic Club discussion on law enforcement on Wednesday, April 20th and the debate over the war on drugs. On Friday, April 22nd, come to one topic or both and bring a friend. BHS HOSA is hosting a water drive from now through April 29th. They will be accepting full cases or gallons of water and baby wipes to be sent to help the people of Flint, Michigan. Please bring donations to Ms. Watson's room C212 or Ms. Duncan's room C204. Large donations should be brought to the back of the school at door 6. Liberty Justice Pizza. These are the backbone of this great nation. While you can't eat Liberty or Justice, you can eat pizza at Marco's. Tomorrow, Tuesday, April 19th, BHS Robotics will be hosting another fundraiser at Marco's. Now you can support your own robotics team like a true patriot. Just be sure to mention BHS Robotics when ordering, and you will have made a very generous contribution to the BHS community in America. BHS TV interviews students about their opinions of the NBA playoffs. I'm going to go with the Clippers because no one's going to think that the Clippers are going to the finals. So I'm just going to pick the Clippers because, you know, their bench is like stacked and their whole team is good and Blake Griffin's coming back. I'd have to say the Portland Trailblazers because Dane, CJ McCollum, pretty unstoppable backcourt. So it's my pick for a sleeper. The four and five seeds are always the. Uh, the best series going into the playoffs because you know they're right next to each other in skill level and they always have the uh, hardest matchups. Hardest series is the Clippers because they always choke and they're playing the Trailblazers and you never know what they could do. I mean Lillard could drop like 50 anytime he wanted so I'm gonna say the Clippers. Thanks guys now let's send it over to Tommy for sports. Hey Tommy. Thanks guys I'm Tommy Smith. On Saturday, the varsity girls tennis team won the Brownsburg Invitational Tournament. In the first round, the Bulldogs defeated Western Boone 5-0. Kara Maringer, Morgan Bettner, and Haley Blood had commanding victories in singles play. The doubles tandems of Christina Petrovic, Lily House, and Tiffany Tran, Jen Barton marched to quick straight set wins. Corinne Lucas kept the match perfect, winning at the number one JV spot. In the second round against Columbus East, the Dogs prevailed 5-0. Maringer, Bettner, and Blood were once again quite efficient. The doubles dogs of Kaylin Prada, Peyton Haygood, and Christina Petrovic, Lily House, lost one total game. Grace Suter claimed the JV single point. In the final round, the Bulldogs posted another 5-0 shutout against West Lafayette Harrison. Again, Maringer, Bettner, and Blood dominated on the singles courts. Teammates Prada, Haygood, and Petrovic House played nearly flawless doubles. Additionally, the BHS Tennis Girls collected $250 for the Susan G. Komen Foundation, which was matched by BHS Athletics for a total donation of $500. The boys' varsity golf team traveled to Danville on Saturday for the 17-team Danville Invitational. The dogs shot a 317 and claimed the team championship for the second consecutive season. 
Luke Kelly was the player of the match, shooting an even par round of 72 to win the individual medalist honor. Landon Mundell added a solid round of 77. Andrew Edwards made enough putts to close with an 83, while Richie Bullock shot an 85 in his first varsity invitational. Kyle Strakis came home with a 90. The team is now 18-1 the season. Nice job, guys. The boys varsity baseball team competed in the Hendricks County Tournament this past weekend. On Friday, the Dogs took on Cascade and won 11-1. Cameron Martin, Logan Kabrick, Tyler Byerly, and Jake Smith all had multiple hits and RBIs. In the second game, the Dogs took on Avon. After leading 4-0, two costly errors in the 6th and 7th allowed the Orioles to claim a 6-5 win. In the third place game, the Dogs defeated Tri-West 10-6. Tyler Byerly collected his first win of the season, and Byerly and Kabrick again led the Dogs offense. The varsity softball team also competed in the Hendricks County Tournament last weekend. On Friday, the ladies defeated Cascade 4-1. Jessica Doctor recorded eight strikeouts in the game, and Michaela Gordon and Alyssa Brown had two hits each. Taylor Estelle added three hits and an RBI. In the second game, the Dogs took on Avon and fell 10-2. Estelle again led the offense with three hits. In the third place game, the Dogs took on Tri-West and won 11-0. Brownsburg recorded 16 hits in the game led by Ali Carver and Jessica Doctor, who each went 3-for-3 three three from the plate. The Dogs are back in action at home tonight against Mooresville at 5.30. That game will also air live on BCSC.tv. The JV softball team participated in the Lady Braves softball bash over the weekend in Terre Haute. In the first game against Terre Haute South, the Dogs earned a 21-5 victory. The Dogs scored 12 runs in the first three innings on the way to victory. Ciara Castile had a three-run home run and Haley Huff was the winning pitcher. In the second game, the Dogs' undefeated season came to an end in a close 9A loss to Robinson. That lead changed four times in the game, and the Dogs had 16 hits. That's it for today, guys. I'm Tommy Smith. Back over to you. Thanks, Tommy. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Wednesday. Hi, I'm Sarah Thomas, and you should vote for me for the Chief of Staff position in the Executive Board of Chainlink. A big part of what the Chief of Staff does is plan and organize events to help bring people together to better communication and make sure everyone is getting along well together to achieve a higher goal. This is something I really enjoy doing. I was also the Chief of Staff this past year, which gives me experience in this position and also the opportunity to better myself and help the school again next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tiffany Tran and I'm running for Chief of Staff on the Chainlink Executive Board. I am running for office because student government is a great opportunity to make sure my ideas are heard and are implemented in a way that can only help the student body along with the rest of the school. Well for me because I will not abuse my power and I will uphold integrity throughout the school. And another reason why you should vote for me is because my middle name means smell good in Vietnamese and if you vote for me you will literally be voting for Tiffany Smell Good Tran. Hashtag stand with Tran. The most valuable opinions of, the, of BHS lies in the hands of the students. Um, if you vote for me, I um, will strive to make sure that the opinions and needs of every student are met. Um, I can't guarantee you that we'll get Chick-fil-A in the cafeteria or we'll have soda in the water fountains, but I can promise you that together we will make change. Vote for Ari or you'll be sorry. Hi, I'm Pinto Agbola and I'm running for Spirit Coordinator next year. Vote for me if you want fun pep rallies, awesome tailgates, and if you want a greater sense of Brownsburg community. Go Bulldogs! Hi guys, my name is Courtney Johnson and I'm running for Spirit Coordinator for 2016-2017. I'm very excited if you pick me. I'm very open to any suggestions that you guys might have. So vote for me on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm Diana Hernandez, and I want to be your next spirit coordinator. Why? Because I want to show all the other schools that Brownsburg High School knows how to have fun. But at the same time, they can show their school spirit. So vote for me, please. Hi, you guys. My name is Cecily Pedragon, and as many of you know, I absolutely love dressing up for football games, basketball games, any sport event. Um, and so this upcoming school year, I'd love to help you get involved too and be just as spirited as me. So vote for me this Wednesday and Thursday at lunch for your spirit coordinator next year. Hello, I'm Kyle Wolf. I'm running for student spirit coordinator. 
I'm running because I like sports, love athletics, and I love to have a good time. Come vote for me this Wednesday and Thursday, and remember, run with the wolves.